So finally, what has happened in other states? You know, we have the experience of all of these other states who have decided to expand Medicaid to the Obamacare Medicaid expansion population, which are, again, childless adults without disability. And here are the states that we studied. You can see that there are a mix of small states and big states, red states and blue states, and I think what they all have in common is the fact that their experience their experiences can tell us how the Obamacare Medicaid expansion will grow. Let's run for, through a few of them. On, on average, what has happened in these states that have decided to expand uh, Obamacare even prior to the law's passage? Well, we hear that expansion will reduce what's called charity care. So what charity care means is, is it's the tab left by the uninsured who can't pay their hospital bills. That's basically what charity care is. What we found in states that have expanded Medicaid, it did not reduce charity care, and in some cases, it even made it worse. We hear that Medicaid expansion will reduce the so-called hidden tax that Medicaid passes on to people with private insurance. The logic there is that the government doesn't pay doctors and hospitals enough to treat a Medicaid patient. So doctors and hospitals pass those costs onto those of us with private insurance. But what we found in states that have expanded Medicaid, it did not reduce the hidden tax and in some cases made it worse. We hear that expansion will be fairly inexpensive, especially with all this federal funding. But what we found that, uh, is that in many states, states dramatically underestimated enrollment and underestimated costs. And finally, we hear we need to expand Medicaid so that we can solve the problem of the uninsured. But what we found is that after some states expanded Medicaid, the percentage of uninsured really didn't change at all. Let's talk about the state of Maine. So about 10 years ago, Maine passed a Medicaid expansion to the Obamacare expansion population. So childless adults without disability. You hear these arguments in South Carolina. The expansion was supposed to reduce charity care and reduce the number of uninsured. Here's what happened. Charity care, those are the blue bars, dropped for one year and then increased fourfold. They estimated about 11,000 people would sign up, that's the black line, out of about 14,000 people they thought were eligible, which is the green line. But in just over a year, as you can see with this red line, twice the number of people enrolled in Maine's Medicaid expansion. So what happened? When Maine expanded Medicaid, they underestimated enrollment and cost, and it did not reduce charity care. Arizona faced similar problems. According to the Arizona Hospital Association, you remember that the hospital associations are the ones pushing for the Medicaid expansion. After Arizona expanded Medicaid, their charity care went up at an average of about 9% per year. The Lewin Group also estimated that after Arizona's Medicaid expansion, the hidden tax from Medicaid actually was worse than the unpaid bills from the uninsured. Some more data from Arizona. As I mentioned, uh, in the year 2000, Arizona actually passed a ballot initiative to expand Medicaid to everyone earning up to 100% of the federal poverty level. And what happened in Arizona, I think, is another case of Medicaid expansion signing up way more people than they even thought were eligible. Uh, this chart will show how many low-income parents enrolled in Arizona's Medicaid program. This dashed line is a projection of how many parents they thought would enroll. Here's who they thought was eligible, and here's how many folks actually enrolled. It was double than what they, project, what they projected. What happened is that most people in the Medicaid expansion population drop their private health insurance to get on Medicaid, and that's what us health nerds call crowd out. So when you hear crowd out, that's, that's what that is. Here's a look at Arizona and uh, the number of childless adults that went onto the Medicaid program. This dash line shows how many people they thought would sign up. This is how many people they thought were eligible and that's who actually signed up, about triple than what they originally projected. You can see that big drop off there at the end, so it went up to about 220,000 and dropped off to about 86,000. Why did that happen? Well, Tony talked about this before. You know, the federal government can print money, states can't. What happened is that Arizona expanded its Medicaid program so big, they had to cap enrollment. They stopped heart and lung transplants for people on the Medicaid program in order to cover childless adults without disability.